Hi guys, my name is Haley Joan. Welcome to this week's yoga practice. Today we're going to focus on a little bit of strengthening, some deep, deep stretching, and probably just those two things. We might use a block or two as always, so um, make sure you have something nearby that you can use. It doesn't have to be a block, it can be a pillow, a blanket, a sweatshirt, really anything that you have close by that you can grab that is soft. Um, and then anything else? Oh yeah, I'm not going to be playing any music, so feel free to um, put something on in the background if you would like. We'll go ahead and get started. I have my Halloween socks on today. They're pumpkins. Halloween is this weekend and I'm super excited. We're going to start in a seated position. Just let the eyes close. Take a moment to arrive here on your mat. Deep breath in. Let it pour out the mouth. Again, in through the nose. And out the mouth. A few more times at your own pace. Opening the eyes, drop the chin down to the chest and as slowly as possible. On your inhale, roll the right ear up to the right shoulder. And exhale back to center. We'll inhale left. Exhale. Move through this two more times at your own pace. Always moving up on the inhale. When you're finished, we'll meet in a nice tall spine. We're going to inhale the arms up, wrap the left fingers around the right wrist, and gently side bend to the left, opening up that right side body. Two breaths here. We'll come back, unwind, switch wrists, inhale, reach, and exhale, side body bend to the right. We'll inhale back to center, we'll do each side one more time, bending to the left. Back to center, inhale, reach, and exhale, right. And then we'll exhale back to center. Go ahead and release the arms. We're going to plant the palms in front of us and roll over or find your way into a tabletop position. Wrists are directly below the shoulders and knees are directly below the hips. We're going to do a few cat cows to warm up the spine here. 
Inhale, drop the belly, bring your gaze to the ceiling, cow. And exhale, push the earth away, tuck the navel, gaze goes to the thighs, cat. Inhale, cow. Maybe finding some movement here. And exhale. Inhale. Last cycle. On your next inhale, meet in a neutral spine. We're gonna ground with that left palm. Right arm reaches up towards the ceiling. Thread it through. We're gonna hover the shoulder over the mat. Not gonna make contact. Three breaths here. And last inhale. And we're gonna exhale, unwind, reach, and open the arm towards the ceiling. And exhale the palm back down. Beautiful other side, grounding with that right palm. Left arm reaches up, exhale, thread it under, and we're gonna hover that left shoulder above the mat, three breaths here, core is nice and strong. Last breath. Inhale, unwind, left arm reaches up, And exhale, that hand back to center. Beautiful job. We're gonna bring the palms one print forward on the mat, tuck our toes and float the hips to the sky for our first downward dog of the day. You can pedal out the feet, wiggle the hips. Take a few breaths. Inhale, shift forward, high plank. Hold it here, two breaths. And on your next exhale, we're gonna lower all the way down to the mat. Beautiful. Forehead can come all the way down. We're pushing the tops of the feet into the mat. On our next inhale, head and hands will come up. Legs are strong and glued to the mat. Inhale. Baby Cobra, gaze is directly below you. And exhale back down. Resting breath here. And again, inhale, Baby Cobra. Two breaths this time. And exhale back down. Beautiful. We're going to slide the palms back by the ribs. Elbows are squeezed together, shoulder blades are tight. And on our next inhale, we're gonna push arms will straighten into a full cobra. One, two, inhale, straighten the arms, full cobra. Option here, squeeze the thighs, float them off the ground, and this is your up dog. Two more breaths wherever you're at. Core and legs are nice and strong. And Exhale, folding over the feet, downward dog. Beautiful job. Two breaths here. Inhale, shift forward. High plank. Two breaths. And exhale, lower halfway down. We're gonna inhale, straighten the arms right into an up dog this time. And exhale, downward dog. 
Nice job, guys. You're gonna inhale, come onto the toes and find your way to the middle or top of your mat. Forward fold, let the arms and head completely hang. Feet can, feet can be hips with distance apart or they can be big toes together, whatever feels the best for you. Take a few grounding breaths here, letting the upper body hang heavy into those thighs. Stretch will be right here in the hamstrings. If you're not feeling it there, maybe shift the weight back and bend the knees a bit. We're going to inhale, halfway lift, bring the hands to the shins, and exhale, fold. And again, inhale, halfway lift, hands come to the shins, and exhale, fold. Next inhale, we're going to roll all the way up to standing. Head will come last. I'm going to turn towards you guys just so you can see me. We're going to inhale the arms up. Exhale them through the heart center. And we're going to bend into the knees coming into chair. Arms may swing up. They can be at your heart center out in front, whatever feels good. Legs are nice and strong. Sits bones are back. Knees are above the ankles. Chest is nice and tall. Three more breaths here. You are so strong. Maybe with each breath, we sit a little bit deeper. Last breath here, inhale. Exhale even deeper. Beautiful, and exhale, fold all the way down. We're gonna plant the hands and step back to a downward dog. We're gonna inhale, shift forward, and drop the knees to the outer edges of the mat. Big toes will come together, and we're gonna sink into a child's pose. Shoulder, a forehead, or either cheek can come down to the mat. Take a few resting breaths here. Take a scan of the body. Feel those hips sinking even deeper into the mat. Maybe walk the fingers out in front of you. Two more breaths in that child's pose. And your next inhale, we're gonna shift forward. Come back into a tabletop. Walk the hands one print forward and transition right back into our downward dog. We're gonna do a fun little core strengthening exercise here. So I will demonstrate first and then we can do it all together. So I'm gonna shift forward into a high plank and one leg at a time, we're gonna bring the knee up on the outside of the body like we're trying to tuck the knee into the armpit. So that's what the right side look, looks like. And then here to the left. So you see that I'm kind of booty up to begin with because we want to be able to shift forward and have room to shift forward when we bring those knees up. So we want to be pretty flat. You don't want to be in a downward dog, but it's okay to have a little bit of a curved spine here. Core is nice and strong. Let's do it together. We're going to do three to each side. So six total and go. We're going to inhale right leg, exhale back, inhale left leg, Exhale back, two more to each side, and exhale, exhale, 
Inhale right, last time. Inhale left, last one, beautiful. Exhale, downward dog. Nice job, guys. One resting breath here. Good, we're gonna drop the knees and transition onto our sits bones. We're gonna want a block or two, something here. You can use a pillow for sure, or a blanket, or if you have a little weight that you wanna use, that's totally fine as well. I'm gonna use a block. Keep it close by. First step here is we're going to make sure we're nice and tall on our sits bones. Chest is nice and tall. And as we lean back just a bit, core is nice and strong. We're going to bring those feet up. Toes are flexed. Arms are going out in front for boat pose. Option to bring the knees in like so, or for a bit more of a challenge. You can extend the legs out long. Another option here is to kind of transition to row the boat a bit, bringing those knees in for a bit of a crunch. Or again, just keeping those feet up. This is perfect as well. Doing great. We're going to be here for four more breaths. Chest is nice and tall. Don't feel like you're zumping forward. Two more breaths. And exhale, let the feet fall back down. We're gonna grab our block, our prop, whatever we're using today. Squeeze it in between the hands. Core is nice and strong. And we're gonna lower down onto the mat as slow as possible. Shoulders are locked together. And we're gonna move on down. You guys usually beat me here. I'm usually the first one down. As slow as you can go, feel each vertebrae touch one at a time. Amazing. Still going into a little core here, we're going to extend the legs up. Before we get into some juicy stretches, we're going to fire this core up. We're going to do toe touches, 10 all together. Ready? Inhale up. Two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, breathe. Eight, nine, last one. Nice job, lower all the way down. Feet can come down to meet the mat. We're gonna do a figure four stretch here. So left foot is placed firmly on the mat. We're gonna bring the right Ankle and cross over the left knee, interlacing the fingers behind that left knee. And as the head goes back, we gently pull that left knee into the chest. Deep breaths here, slowing down the breath as the heart rate settles a bit. Option to stay here if you want a little more, you can extend the left leg long. Last two breaths, maybe pulling a bit closer. Really important that we keep that tailbone glued to the ground. Instead of pulling it up, really the stretch should come from those hips. And exhale the left foot back down. Unwind, left ankle crosses over the right knee. We're reaching the fingers, interlacing, and exhale. Head comes back and we pull closer into the chest. Again, if you want a little more extending that right leg long, Gives you a little more space to pull. Last breath. 
and exhale, drop the foot, unwind those legs. And we're gonna bring the knees into the chest like we're trying to tuck them into the armpits. And we're gonna bring the hands in between the knees and grab for the outer edges of the feet. Another option is to just wrap the fingers around the big toe if this is a bit of a stretch for you or if you're just not feeling it today. So for happy baby, we're going to actively pull the feet down as we're also kicking up. So that tension is what's going to give us the deepest stretch. Again, the tailbone and shoulders are plugged into the mat. We want all of the spine to be touching the mat. We don't want the spine to be curled up into a ball. We want to be nice and flat. Option to find some movement here, maybe rolling around on the back or if stillness is what you need, that is perfectly fine as well. Be here for three breaths. The last breath. And gently release the legs. Nice job, guys. Give them a second. Maybe massage the hips. We're going to bring the knees into the chest. Arms will come to a goal post or out to a T, depending on how much room you're working with. We're going to let the knees fall to the right like they're glued together. You don't need to do any work here. All the hard work is behind us. We're just letting the body melt into the mat. However, we form... Just lay as you are. Two more breaths here. Tail back to center. Exhale over to the left. Last breath here. We'll inhale back to center. Give the knees a nice tight squeeze. Squeeze the toes, the eyebrows. We're tucked into a tiny little ball, squeezing everything together. And exhale, extend the arms and legs out long to set up for our final pose of the day. Toes will fall out to the sides. Relaxing the jaw, letting the tongue fall from the roof of the mouth. Letting the breath soften. Giving ourselves permission to find complete stillness.
schedule for next day. I try not to do just stay here for as long as you can. Just stay here to silence yourself. Just a gratitude for your body and everything it's able to do on this mat. If you'd like to finish the practice with me today, start to deepen the breath. Wiggle the fingers and the toes. Extend the right or left arm long above the head and gently roll into a ball on that side of the body. Eyes will remain closed. And using your hands in as little effort as possible, meet me in a seated position where we begin our practice today. Eyes are still closed, hands are together at your heart center, pressing the thumbs to your sternum. This is your Anahata Chakra, your chakra of self-love and love for others. Sometimes I need a reminder that there are eight limbs to yoga in this what we just did on our mat today is simply one of them, one of eight. Yoga is really about being a good neighbor, a good friend, speaking up when you see wrong, indecency, hate. I challenge you to consider these things on and off of your mat. And I thank you for sharing your practice with me today. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you have any questions, please let me know. If not, I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day.